Welcome. Oh, welcome. Is that that's what I say, right? Okay. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. If you don't know me, today we are going to be testing out some directions to see if brands really do know what they're talking about when it comes to applying eyeshadow. So I got the Palm Springs palette from Too Faced in one of my BoxyCharm boxes last month. And so this is what the palette looks like from the outside. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. It has very pretty shades. Actually, I've never tried any Too Faced eyeshadows before. And then in the Unicarton box, it came with this little pamphlet thing. And it gives you different looks that you can create with the palette along with the instructions on how to make the certain look. So what I'm gonna do is gonna test it out and see if makeup brands know what they're talking about when it comes to applying eyeshadow. So which one are we gonna do? So I think I'm gonna do this look right here. It looks really pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see if it actually works. So as you guys can see, I've already done my face makeup and all of that is done. So we're going to go ahead and start right away with the eyeshadow look. I'm just going to read each one and do what it's telling me to do. Okay, so the first thing that it says is press Dirty Martini onto inner lid and corner of the eye to highlight. Dirty Martini. Ooh, this is Dirty Martini here. It's that gold shade. It says to press Dirty Martini into inner lid and corner of the eye to highlight. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a brush. And this doesn't tell you what kind of brushes to use. So I'm just going to go with what I think it's best to apply it with so already I think that it kind of has a downfall because it's not really telling you what kind of brush to use to go apply the shade I mean you would think I don't know if Too Faced has brushes but that would be another way to advertise their brushes right just saying okay so we're gonna press it says it says to press it, it doesn't say to blend it or anything so press dirty martini onto inner lid so we're gonna do that first and this is the Luxie 246 precision crease brush is what I'm using so I'm gonna go ahead and press that into my inner lid doesn't even tell you how far I mean what's the inner lid where does it end does it do you go to the center do you just stay like in this area here so I'm just going with my gut and what I think that it's going to look okay. And also if they have a primer, shouldn't they tell you go ahead and prime your lids for it? Or do you just apply it without anything on the lid? I did prime. I used my Morphe Eyelid Primer and Translucent. So just so you know, I did prime even though it didn't tell me to, but it probably should have. Okay, so I think that's the inner lid. To me, that's the inner lid. And then a corner of eye to highlight. So bring it into the inner corner as well. So in here. Okay, and now it's say apply last call on center lid and blend outward. Okay, so there it does tell you to blend. So you're going to last call is this shade right here. And it says to apply last call center lid and blend outward. So out, okay. Again, it doesn't tell you what kind of brush to use or anything. So I'm just gonna go with what I think is going to work. So I'm using my Juvia's Place 005 small buffer brush to apply the shade called last call. And that says to the center of the lid and then blend outward. So first, the pigmentation that I'm getting from that and then blend outward. So I'm blending outward. So I did blend outward. I didn't blend it out all the way because it looks like there's another shade that goes on the outer corner. It doesn't say to blend outward upward so just outward 
so you're just blending out this way you're not blending up at all with any of these shades it looks like at least not the ones that I've used so far now moving on to step number three it says smoke BYOB into outer lid and blend up into crease okay so I'm gonna grab my morphe m330 brush to do that again it doesn't tell you what kind of brush to use and that is BYOB this brown shade right here it says smoke into outer lid and blend up into crease so let's smoke it out into the outer corner and bring it into the crease It's making the other shades look kind of muddy when you try to blend it into the crease. I do not like how that is looking. And I am trying to blend it out. You guys can see that like right here. You can really see that how muddy it looks against those other shades. I do not like that. With the first two shades it wasn't too bad. But now that they're wanting me to smoke it out in the crease I don't like it okay so that's all it says to do and then it says create a winged liner using swing swing is this shade right here I'm gonna grab a brush here that I think I could use to create that wing that they're talking about it doesn't say to wet the shade so we're just gonna go in as it is as an eyeshadow and we're gonna try to create that wing So this is what the directions say to do. There's nothing else that goes with the look. It doesn't tell you how to do the lower lash line. Even though the girl on the picture has the lower lash line done. I mean, I know obviously I would know how to do it, but if there's somebody that's trying to do this that is a beginner, they wouldn't be able to know like how did they create that? Like what shades did they use or anything like that? They wouldn't be able to no i mean you can probably guess yes but if you're a beginner going into this i definitely don't think that the instructions on here are that great now on the other eye i'm gonna go ahead and do the same look but i'm gonna do it how i would do it using the same palette okay so this muddiness right here that i created at the end i would never 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 would go in with that shade last before my shimmer shades because that is why it created that muddiness going on right here in the crease i would have never ever done that so what i always do is i try to go into my lightest shade all the way up and that's exactly what i'm going to do right now and this is with a fluffy brush a real fluffy brush i always like using fluffy brushes for the top i feel like it's the lightest one that you can use to blend out especially the transition shade. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the shade Saucy and Bossy first, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna go up above my crease. And now I would go in with that dark BYOB shade, which is this one right here. I'm using the same brush, which is the Morphe M330. And I'm going to do the same thing, put it on the outer corner and bring it up to the crease. Okay, and then in this case, I would go back into the first shade that I used, which was Saucy and Bossy, and blend out that dark shade again. And now I want to darken out that outer corner just a little bit more. I'm going to grab the shade BYOB once more with that same brush, the Morphe M330. And just right here on the outer corner, darken that up. You guys can see the difference between this and this. Definitely more blended out. We'll see at the end how the shimmers look different too. I'm gonna go in with the shade Dirty Martini, which was that gold shade, the first shade that we used on this eye. And if you wanted to make it pop more, you could definitely cut the crease. But since we didn't really put a shade in there, you can do this too. But yeah, if you did want it to make that color pop a little bit more, you can definitely cut the crease and put this over it 
and that would make the shade more pigmented and brighter on your lid. You can also spray your brush to make it brighter or you can apply it with your finger. Let's see how it works. I'm also putting it in the inner corner just like I did on the other eye. Now I'm going to go into the brush, um, the Juvia's Place 005 Small Buffer Brush and into the shade Last Call, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to blend that into the gold and into that dark brown shade. So I am blending it. It did not tell you to blend it into the gold on the instructions that Too Faced gives you because you don't want it to look like a harsh line. So I'm gonna go back actually into both of those shades that are surrounding this shade. So I'm gonna go back into the gold and back into that brown. So I want everything to be nice and blended. So now I'm taking Dirty Martini once again and blending it into that center shade. Then I'm taking my Morphe 330 brush and dipping into BYOB again and going to blend that slowly into the center shade. And then going in one last time with the very first shade that I use, Saucy and Bossy, to blend all of that out. I'm gonna go ahead and make that wing liner again. And this time, I'm gonna wet it just a little bit to make it just a little more vibrant. And now on the girl's lower lash line, it looks like it's like that dark brown shade. So we're gonna go ahead and place that on there, on this side. And I'm just gonna use my Morphe M213 brush. Grab the shade BYOB, this one right here. And gonna place it on my lower lash line. And it doesn't look like she has anything on her waterline. So now we're gonna go ahead and add mascara. I'm gonna use my Il Makiash mascara in the shade Icon, I think. But it's the it's this one. The one I'm using. Now you could add lashes to this look if you wanted to. Once again, if they have lashes that they sell, I'm not sure. I don't really shop at Too Faced, so I'm not sure what they have on their website. But if they do have lashes, they could advertise them. So now that we have added the mascara, that is pretty much the look, guys. So let me go ahead and give you a little comparison here and my thoughts on what I think about the instructions. So as you guys can see, this eye doesn't look like it's complete to me because the lower lash line isn't done. I really don't like how muddy it looks right here because it doesn't really give you a transition shade. I feel like I will always need a transition shade or to apply this shade first instead of applying your shimmers first because it makes it look really muddy up here I feel like when you're getting into your other shades here on the crease I really didn't like that I didn't like that it didn't tell you to put anything in the bottom here it doesn't tell you what shade they'd use or anything I mean if you're a beginner you could guess what it is but not necessarily know what shade they use same thing with blending if you just said smoke BYOB but you're not really blending anything else up there so to me blending is key when you want a flawless eyeshadow look. I feel like a lot of people just throw in the shade and don't blend and that's where the look ends up looking so choppy like it's in sections like if you guys see this here you can see the gold like there's a line then the other shade that we use and there's a line and then your dark shade that makes everything else look muddy. I didn't like that. I'm not trying to bash Too Faced or anything, but I don't think that their instructions are very well. As you guys can see on this side, I'm not saying that I'm professional or anything, but it does look more blended and more cohesive, and it looks put together with that lower lash line being done. If you guys can see here, the shades are blended. We have a gradual blend. So you have the lighter shade, your darker shade, you have your shimmer shades, and it does not make it look all muddy right here. Like in this side, it makes 
these two shadows look really muddy over on top. If you guys noticed, I went in with that transition shade at the end again because I wanted to make sure that everything looked nice and blended. Here, you did not use any shade to blend that out, so it just looks muddy in there. It doesn't look like you even tried to make it look blended. So, I think that their instructions kind of suck a little bit. If I had to modify these instructions, I definitely do it how I did here. Like I said, again, I am not a professional. I'm just saying this is how I would do it. And going in as a beginner, I don't think that this would be a good look. Like, I don't know. I don't like how it doesn't look blended and it just looks muddy on the eye. But anyways, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this. If you guys would follow the instructions on something like this. You have done that before. How did you like your look? Did it turn out the way that you thought it was going to? Did it turn out the way that it looked on the picture? Like obviously hers is so different than the one that I have here. <laughs> because not even the lower lash line is done. Doesn't look blended up here. Hers looks blended. But anyways, let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I thought it would be fun to do something like this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We will see you in my next one. Toodles.